Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and the 68 Dodge Charger build. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. We're doing lots of videos on this car as we try to bring it back to life. In this video, we are gonna be removing the original 318 motor. On the last video, we actually got this thing up and running and took it out for a little drive. And it actually ran pretty good, but um, we want more power and what's better than a 440. So we're gonna be going to pick that thing up tomorrow. So we got to get this engine pulled quick and then put the new one in. Okay, that's enough fast motion for now. Let me show you guys what we all got done. So the 318 is out of the car. Now we have access to getting this engine bay cleaned up. It really doesn't look that bad, but um, there's a lot of dirt and rust just on here. I'd like to get this paint cleaned up, get as much of the blue back as we can. Um, clean up this cross member down here and um, get it all prepped for the new engine. The 318 is sitting right here. Look how small it is compared to the 440. Now this is the 440 we picked up. It's got the 727. Supposedly this thing runs. So um, basically what we're gonna do is get all of this extra stuff removed. Air conditioning, power steering, alternator. Start just stripping it down. Get the exhaust manifolds off. And then we can really deep clean this thing. And then I've got some Chrysler Hemi Orange that we're going to spray this block and uh, just get it cleaned up. <laughs> Okay, this is just a little update. We got basically everything stripped off this engine. You can see all of the dirt and junk on there. Same with down here. So we're just gonna get this thing cleaned up, but we got most of the accessories off over there. Let's take a look at the engine bay. My dad's been scrubbing away. That side has all been done and the blue really came back. As you can see, he's working over here on this side. But um, the firewall still needs to be done, but we're making good progress. My dad spiced up these red wheels a little bit, added some white lettering to them. I think it looks pretty cool. It's that old NASCAR look. What a day, guys. Got a lot accomplished. That is all stuff that we took off the 440. Got the exhaust pulled, spark plugs. We actually pulled off the harmonic balancer, got the pulleys off and popped off this front cover earlier. 
and took a look at the timing chain it is uh, really loose so I'm glad that we're gonna be replacing that um, but I got like this whole side of the block pretty clean um, you can see it was pretty dirty over I'm just getting comfy in the engine bay. I got some simple green and water and a green scotch bright. And we're basically just gonna spray this firewall down and get to scrubbing. New milling oil pump going on. Probably has to what twist a little bit to line up the. Oh, yeah, there it goes. So we found this stuff inside the oil pickup tube. Looks like uh, stuff from the timing gear, maybe. Um, and then we just added some silicone, new gasket. But under there, it looks pretty clean. We got the windage tray right here, so we're going to sandwich the gaskets, get that put on. We got our oil pan painted, nice and cleaned up, so get in the bottom end, put back together. should move in quite a bit yeah what do you call this a ATF waterfall <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I think today's the day that the 440 is gonna be going back in the charger so let's get this thing tossed in So we just pulled off the intake and it's looking pretty clean down here. You can see the cam doesn't look bad at all. We've started to scrape off this gasket stuff and just get it cleaned up. And we're just going to take the vacuum and suck up any of the dirt and stuff that comes off. And then we'll get the new intake on. Big piece of something. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Big piece of carbon. 
What is that? I have no idea. Hopefully that wasn't a valve stem fuel. <laughs> I hope not. Kind of looks like one. Until we decide to put something else in it, right? Next thing would be a, a, a hemi. A hemi? Yeah. One of the new 5.7 heavy hemis. Or a 6.4 hemi. You see those memes of uh, the uh, the new cha uh, charger? The electric one? Mm -hmm. and Some of them. And they're revving it. Comes out of a building yep, and it yep. turns. And, yeah. That's the one I saw. <laughs> These guys were all making fun of it. Yep. Because uh, <laughs> it was making those noises. Yep. <laughs> And That's, they were like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, what the hell? That, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hilarious. trick I learned was uh, when your thermostat doesn't come with a little breather hole um, to just drill two of them in on either side and what that will do is um, make sure there's no air bubbles stuck in there and um, also when you go to fill it up when it's cold uh, the whole system will be able to circulate through so um, I just did that quick and uh, we're gonna get this tossed back together Well guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun working on this this summer. Um, but the weather is changing and it's starting to rain a lot more now. And I'm back in school so I just got no time to finish this up. But we got plans on going to Mopar Nationals 2023 down at Woodburn Drag Strip. And our goal is to get this car there. We've been saying that we're going to make it for the past years. but haven't got the car ready so that's the goal we just got some little things left to do um hooking up the electrical the gas um we gotta get the drive shaft either cut or possibly we have the right one it's right down here um and that's basically it then we just have to uh do all the fluids. I think we gotta still fine tune the brakes a little bit. We got disc conversion all the way around, but it's, it feels like there's a little bit of air still left in the system. So um, I think we'll bleed that one more time and then we should be good to go. So stay tuned guys. We will be doing more videos on this soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.